So what's on our mind today? You may have heard Ecuador passed some new laws, new tax laws, to curb speculation in real estate. Hey, good morning, y'all. As you can see, Salinas isn't really a desert, it's only a part-time desert. Rainy season, dry season. So, hey. I got you on camera, buddy. Yeah, I know who you are. Well, after about, uh, who knows, maybe eight hours of raining, it likes to rain at night here for some reason. I wish it would just rain in the afternoon instead, like in Panama. That's one thing I really liked about it, about Panama City, is that uh, a lot of the rains were in the afternoon during the hot part. Whereas here, it's been super consistent that it'll rain at night or and then by about noon it's just hot and it ends up being the uh, really hot part of the day looks like they're getting those carriages going i wonder when they get those going probably this week this week is the Week of Carnival, which is the biggest holiday. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. You win. Biggest holiday of the year. I'm just so thankful for the rains. The carnival isn't with rides or anything. Yeah, carnival is not like when you think in the States carnival, you know, carnival rides. Not that kind of carnival. It's, uh, it's a cultural thing. I, I remember this from Italy. They do that kind of thing. And uh, in, in southern Italy, they would run around with a sock full of white flour and either throw flour on you or hit you with the sock. You know, nowadays they like to throw balloons. All the old timers, retired old timers, have caused uh, that activity to be outlawed in Cuenca, water in the city proper. Well, it's understandable. I mean, if somebody's really up there in age, 90 years old or something, and he gets smacked with a balloon on his glasses or something, that's not, you know. You gotta use some uh, restraint. Hola. Hola. Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Bien. Probably vacationers. So yeah, we uh, we have never been at the coast through Carnival. I imagine it's probably quite tame around the Malacan, thanks to the uh, tourist security. Well, they just throw water on each other. And yeah, they spray foam, that kind of thing. Yeah. Foam and stuff. But it can, when we first, first came to Ecuador, the government would pass out leaflets warning people to stay indoors because it's potentially a very dangerous time. Well, it was back then, and it still is. For obvious reasons, when you've got people running around with masks on, building going up. There's a whole lot less spots left for new buildings. Um, 
a lot of this property is untouchable. The prices have shot up. I've seen prices like 450K, 600K, which is pathetic. Ah, uh, excuse me. You know, you may have heard Ecuador passed some new laws, new tax laws to curb speculation in real estate. The speculation in property is, is extremely hurtful to, to the locals in an effort to uh, save the people, the locals, from, from it. I, for one, I am happy to see those regulations as laissez-faire as I am. You know, freedom and liberty both have seven letters in them. I believe in that, but I do think that uh, these markets, as you know, the whole city of Chicago has as many population as the whole country of Ecuador, so in no time at all, a place like this or Panama or any of them Costa Rica you know pretty soon when you funnel uh, tens of thousands of wealthy people in a you know a square half a mile it's all insider trading I mean it's all constructed it's uh it's planned well we sure have seen it skyrocket the five and a half years we've been yeah it, it's uh it's a planned bubble you know what else can you call it it's a planned bubble by the insider traders it's reminiscent of the stock market US stock market days of the 1920s and 1900s when all the uh, insiders could operate um, and they were untouchable and they and they freely and and almost openly but not quite participated in um, in insider trading and they profited at the expense of the public and that's what's happening abroad only it's in the property market that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it it's all factual uh, anybody that wants to connect the dots can you know you've got an extra national ie outside of nation extranational activity that is uh, not regulated. However, Ecuador threw up these barriers, thank God, for the locals. Otherwise, they're going to wake up one day and not be able to afford their own country. It's already happening, yeah. Everybody wakes up and says to themselves, I think I'll become a property speculator today. You know, so yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. I think Panama should have done it. Herb speculation in real estate. Panama is just a bedroom community of New York. Too late. Angela, what's happening? But today we're doing pan fried pizza. We got a pizza in here on a skillet. Let's see. We're doing mini pan fried pizzas. Pan fried pizza. I Smells good. So it's going to be two little pieces each. Wow. 